This presentation regarding the Asian citrus psyllid and the citrus disease Honglong Bing is presented by the Master Gardeners of Humboldt Del Norte County in cooperation with the University of California Agriculture and Natural Resources. Welcome to this presentation by the Master Gardeners of the Asian citrus psyllid and the citrus disease Honglong Bing. Did you know that California is the United States' number one producer of fresh market oranges? and leads the nation in production of lemons, limes, and mandarins? That's huge. And the industry is valued at more than $1.5 billion annually. More than half of California homes have citrus trees in the landscape. The California citrus industry and backyard citrus trees are now threatened by Huanglong Bing disease or HLB. Once a tree has HLB, there is no cure and it will die. Mark Hoddle and Beth Grafton Cardwell are citrus experts with the University of California's Division of Agriculture and Natural Resources. They are asking Californians to help slow down the spread of HLB to buy time for researchers to find a cure. HLB has been found in multiple sites in residential properties in Southern California and it's likely there are more areas in Southern California that have the disease but we have not yet found them. Huanglong Bing is definitely going to be a problem in California. It has reduced the Florida citrus production by about half and it is now sweeping its way through Texas and it kills trees and reduces production. The bacterium that causes HLB is spread from tree to tree by Asian citrus psyllids. The best way to stop the spread of HLB is to make sure there are no psyllids around to spread the disease. Farmers and backyard citrus owners need to check their trees for Asian citrus psyllids. If you see signs of a psyllid, if you're in an area where the psyllid is new and has never been seen before, you need to call the county ag commissioner or the psyllid hotline. But if you're in an area where we know the psyllid presides and we're not going to be eradicating it, then you can help in control of the psyllid using pesticides. First and foremost, always read the label. Second, only apply the pesticides when you actually know there are psyllids in your yard and only apply them to the host plants that the psyllid might be living on, which is citrus and very closely related plants. In urban areas, small parasitic wasps have been imported from overseas to reduce the number of Asian citrus psyllids so HLB will spread at a slower rate. In Pakistan, we found two types of natural enemy that are very specific to Asian citrus psyllid. And these parasites are extremely small. They're about the size of a sesame seed. And the females lay their eggs either underneath or inside the psyllid nymph. Those eggs hatch and then those parasitoid larvae feed on the guts of the psyllid, killing it. The parasites won't be able to control Asian citrus psyllids on their own. Farmers and residential citrus owners must do their part. We have a website that's designed to teach both growers and homeowners about the Asian citrus psyllid and Huanglong Bing disease. And it's got a map on it that you can zoom in and see where the psyllids have been located and where the parasites have been released and where the quarantine boundaries are for preventing movement of the psyllid and the disease. And in addition, we have information about what to look for, what to do if you find it, and how to manage the pest. And we continually update that website. UCANR works with commercial producers and backyard gardeners to make sure California can continue to produce healthy food for its growing population and consumers around the world. The Asian citrus psyllid was first found in the United States in 1998 in Florida. It spread rapidly throughout the state and eventually worked its way westward into Texas. In 2008, the Asian citrus psyllid was first detected in Southern California, having vectored in from Mexico. To date, no Asian citrus psyllid has been found in Humboldt or Del Norte counties. The psyllid is a small insect about the size of an aphid, measuring 4 millimeters or up to 1 eighth of an inch in length. It is developed from eggs which are laid into the new growth area of citrus trees and eventually will grow from egg to nymphal in stars and then to an adult psyllid. Please note that the ACP is also very similar in size 
to leaf moths, including the leaf miner and the peel miner, both found in California. Damage caused by miners is very distinctly different than that caused by Asian citrus psyllids. Leaf miners tunnel inside the leaf and peel miners tunnel on the skin of the fruit. This does not occur with Asian citrus psyllids. Asian psyllids feed by tipping forward and having their rear in the air at a characteristic 45 degree angle. This does not happen with miners. ACP females lay eggs in the very new flush of a citrus plant. Look at the very tips of your plants to determine whether or not the eggs, nymphs, or psyllids are present. When nymphs are present, it is very easy to find them looking for the sugar-filled waxy tubules they will deposit on the plant as they feed. When the Asian citrus psyllid is feeding, it injects a toxin into the plant which causes twisting damage to the leaf and deformed stems. Ants are attracted to the Asian citrus psyllid for the waxy, sugary substance they excrete. Look for ants or in and around your tree and bait the tree appropriately if it becomes a problem. HLB causes an uneven yellowing in citrus tree leaves due to nutrients being restricted from the leaves. Citrus trees can suffer from other problems such as cold weather and sunburn. These are not caused by the presence of ACPs or HLB. The fungal disease sweet orange scab as well as the bacterial disease citrus canker are not caused by the presence of ACP or HLB. While HLB causes nutrient deficiencies in the citrus, other nutrient deficiencies such as the lack of magnesium or lack of manganese can also cause similar looking reactions. They are, however, symmetrical along the leaf vein margins of the tree wherein is HLB is asymmetrical. Another example is zinc deficiency. Notice the difference between this and citrus greening disease, HLB, which is asymmetric, blotchy modeling. Asian citrus psyllids attack all types of citrus and related plants. Here is an additional list of affected plants. Don't limit your inspection to citrus only. Some ornamental plants may also contain Asian citrus psyllid. Not all Asian citrus psyllids will have the hung long bing disease. However, they are the vector or the carrier for the bacterium. The bacterium will block nutrient transports to the tree, affecting its growth, survival, and fruit production. The earliest symptoms of HLB include blotchy, irregular yellowing of the leaves, fruit development that doesn't occur properly, excessive stunting of the tree and fruit drop, and tree mortality in as little as five years. There presently is no cure for HLB. HLB is also known as citrus greening disease. As you can see from the photographs on this slide, the fruit does not fully ripen and the interior of the fruit will be asymmetrical, lack color, and have a bitter taste. First detected in San Diego in 2008, there were less than 20 cases in the state. As of 2020, there are over 1,900 HLB cases now in Southern California. The ACP has been found as far north as Yolo County and the Bay Area. The state of California has taken a very proactive stance towards eliminating the HLB and the ACP infestations. There will be statewide monitoring quarantine zones, treatment of residential and commercial citrus, and biological controls. You can do your part by checking your plants for evidence of the psyllid, especially in the flush area. Check the leaves for blotchy yellow disease symptoms, isolate any infested or suspected disease plants, and report the information to your local Ag Commissioner or call the 1-800 number listed here. Homeowners can utilize commercially available insecticidal soaps, applying them every 10 to 14 days when the plants are flushing to help control 
the ACP nymphs. Additionally, horticultural oils can be used to decrease the attractiveness of trees for psyllids. Use the chemicals according to the instructions found on the labels. While you may be tempted to remove the new flesh from a citrus plant, do not do so. It is labor intensive, creates extra work for you, and may actually increase the presence of Asian citrus psyllids. As with small insects such as aphids, moderately high pressure water hosing can help eliminate the psyllids from the plants. This may not be as effective on dislodging psyllid eggs because they are secreted deep into the new flesh on the tree. This process is also more effective when used in conjunction with soaps or oils. If you are interested in more information, you can download brochures from the ipmucdavis.edu website. Homeowners interested in finding out more information about the Asian citrus psyllid can find it at http ucanr.edu sites ACP. Californians have been growing citrus fruit in their backyard for generations. Unfortunately, a pest and disease are threatening California's beloved citrus trees. A plant disease called Wong Long Bing has been found in California and it kills citrus trees. There is no cure. It isn't harmful to people, but could devastate the citrus trees we know and love. The disease is spread by an insect called the Asian citrus psyllid as it feeds on citrus trees, leaves, and stems. The best way to protect California citrus trees is to stop this pest and disease from spreading. Luckily, local, state, and federal agricultural officials are working to protect your trees, and your cooperation is crucial. They may come to your community once or a few times a year if the pest or disease are found nearby. Here's what to expect if they're working in your area. The California Department of Food and Agriculture crews may knock on your door to let you know they plan to inspect citrus trees on your property. They may leave a notice if you're not home. The specialists will have a badge indicating their affiliation with the California Department of Food and Agriculture and or will have a uniform shirt and patch clearly identifying Department of Agriculture or State Agriculture. They'll never ask to access your home. These crews are focusing on protecting your citrus trees and won't disturb the rest of your property. They may place an insect trap in your citrus tree. These sticky yellow cards help agriculture officials track the presence of pests like the Asian citrus psyllid. They may inspect your citrus tree to look for the Asian citrus psyllid or Wong Long Bing. By allowing trained agricultural specialists to inspect your citrus tree, you're ensuring your tree gets the utmost care and attention. If agricultural officials see the Asian citrus psyllid on your tree, they may take samples back to the lab to see if it's infected with Wong Long Bing. It's important to quickly find the pest and disease to protect California's vibrant citrus trees, so your cooperation is appreciated. Treatments are the most effective way to protect citrus trees against the pest, thereby also protecting trees from Wong Long Bing. The California Department of Food and Agriculture may treat trees in your area if Asian citrus psyllids have been found nearby, Wong Long Bing has been found nearby, or citrus farmers are treating their trees near your area. When treatments are needed, Residents receive an invitation to attend a public meeting to learn more about the issue. The public meeting is an informational open house where residents can get questions answered one-on-one -on -one with experts. Another notice is posted letting residents know when their property will be visited by a treatment crew. Residents in treatment areas are invited to call the free statewide hotline 800-491-1899 or attend the public meeting in their area if they have questions. No action is necessary to grant your permission for treatment, so your trees can easily be protected at no cost or inconvenience to you. Homeowners do not need to be present for treatment, but the crews are happy to schedule a good time to come by if homeowners have a special request. Highly trained specialists carefully follow label instructions and take important precautions when applying Asian citrus psyllid treatments. The California Department of Food and Agriculture crews take care to apply treatment safely and only to citrus trees, not any other plants on the property. There are two methods of protecting a tree against the Asian citrus psyllid. A foliar application to citrus tree leaves provides instant protection against adult psyllids. A soil application provides long-term protection, so future Asian citrus psyllids who feed on the tree are stopped in their tracks. Another notice is left with the resident after the treatment has taken place. These treatments are important to protect your tree, your neighbor's trees, and the community's citrus. While the Asian citrus psyllid is easy to protect against, the disease it can spread isn't so easily stopped. 
Trees infected with Huanglongbeng will die. Researchers are looking for a cure, but for now it is fatal. In Florida, citrus trees are dying at alarming rates. We must act now to protect California citrus trees from this fate. The disease can only be detected through a valid scientific process. Agriculture officials collect samples of leaves that appear to be symptomatic of Wonglongbing. The samples are then taken to a lab where they undergo specific testing that has been recognized by federal authorities as the most reliable way to identify Wonglongbing. If a plant sample collected from your tree tests positive, you'll be notified right away. The disease is not harmful to humans or animals, so people aren't in danger. However, the disease kills citrus trees and must be stopped. Trees found to be positive for Wonglongbing must be removed from the environment to prevent the disease from spreading. This tree removal is done at no cost to the tree owners, and agriculture crews will work quickly to protect other trees nearby. We all must work together to protect California citrus trees from this dangerous pest and disease. If you have questions about what California agriculture officials are doing to protect local citrus trees, or if you think your tree has the Asian citrus psyllid or Wong Long Bing, call the toll-free hotline 800-491-1899. Together we can save California citrus. As the ACP Hung Long Bing disease continues to escalate in California, the California Department of Food and Agriculture has released its latest report dated August 2020. You can find the link listed here. Groundbreaking research at the University of California Riverside is continuing to help prevent the incursion of ACP and HLB into Northern California. With your assistance, we can continue to fight the battle against this deadly disease and maintain a healthy citrus growth in California. Thank you for watching this presentation.